If you think you know what's holding you back, then you're wrong. Your biggest obstacle is your shadow and it's ruining everything. We're all chasing success, but there's a part of us, an invisible part, that's sabotaging every move. And that shadow, it's why you keep falling short. But here's the thing, there's a trap that many high achievers fall into. It's the dark side of ambition. It's the shadow self, the part of us that we ignore. It may seem harmless, but left unchecked, it festers, feeding on our insecurities and fears. And eventually, it drags us down. What if I told you this shadow is the real reason that you're exhausted, stuck, and not able to break through to the next level? The real issue here isn't about ambitions or goals or even talent. It's about a deep-rooted fear of failure and our need for validation. That hidden part of us, the shadow, wants control. It wants to keep us scared, striving, and desperate for approval. Only by embracing and integrating our shadow by accepting the ugly parts of ourselves, by becoming who we're afraid to be, can we reach our fullest potential. But if we reject our shadow, if we pick and choose the parts of our past, personality, and behavior that we like, and repress the parts of ourselves we fear, we become incomplete and partial. And instead of living a full, whole life, we live one full of regrets. I know this because I've been there too. I used to think my drive was my power, but really? It was my weakness. I remember the late nights, the endless cycles of hustle and just feeling like I needed to do more. But each win felt absolutely hollow. And here's what this does to us. We're burnt out, overwhelmed and trapped in perfectionism. We push away people we love and our happiness takes a back seat. And then we're left wondering why success feels so empty. And deep down, you probably feel it too that gnawing feeling that something just isn't right. Because the truth is, you deserve to feel whole, not just successful. You deserve success without sabotage. But let's challenge the typical fix here. More grind, more hustle, more determination, more stamina isn't the fix that is gonna help you. More grinding, ignoring your emotions and just pushing through. That's the exact trap that people get stuck in. The problem isn't that you're not doing enough, it's that you're letting the shadow call the shots. To overcome the influence of the shadow, we need a framework that helps us integrate these hidden aspects into our conscious mind. I have a four step framework, which I'm gonna teach you now, called the Calm Framework, that helps you integrate these aspects into your conscious mind. This framework offers a structured approach to self-awareness, designed to help you reclaim control and align your actions with your true goals. C is for confrontation. Kobe Bryant famously confronted his own insecurities through what he called the Mamba mentality addressing each fear and working through it one by one. Think of it as identifying each piece in a puzzle. You need to see it clearly to know where it belongs. What fears or insecurities have you been avoiding? Are they silently dictating your actions? Acceptance. Oprah Winfrey has spoken openly about accepting her shadow self, the insecurities that fueled her perfectionism and embracing the strength that comes from vulnerability. Like a knot that loosens when you stop pulling, accepting yourself reduces internal tension and resistance. Can you accept these parts of yourself or do you still feel the need to hide them? L is for learning. After losing at the Olympics, swimmer Michael Phelps committed to learning about his own weaknesses and working with sports psychologists to better understand his mind. Imagine it like updating software, adding tools and understanding to function better in any environment. Are you willing to learn about yourself, even if it means facing uncomfortable truths? M is for mindfulness. Tech entrepreneur Ariana Huffington, after collapsing from burnout, started practicing mindfulness and encouraged her company to prioritize mental health. Mindfulness is the lens that brings your goals into reality, into clear focus, allowing for intentional action rather than reactive habits. Can you commit to mindfulness, focusing on aligning your actions with your authentic self? 
If you think about it, it is absolutely amazing how many people sacrifice their own health in the pursuit of success. What we need to do is take a step back and realize that success is about harmony, not about taking yourself to war. You are more than your achievements. So it's not about striving harder. It's about striving smarter and aligning yourself with who you truly are. So if any of this resonates with you, ask yourself, what is the true cost of ignoring your shadow? And when will you start breaking free to define success on your terms, not what everybody else thinks success is? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and it helps you integrate other parts of your identity to help you navigate success consciously. And what I'd love to do is invite you to join our newsletter, Growth Executive Weekly, which we're thinking about turning into a community actually, so that you can align with other growth oriented and personal development executives that are hungry to grow and achieve their best self. So if that's of interest to you, then I want you to comment executive down below and I'll send you the link to join. And I look forward to seeing you and spending a little bit more time focusing on personal development. I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.